was going into hospice, didn't he have two tumors wrapped around his heart? He, he had two tumors wrapped around his heart. So he, I, all I remember was once he began removing cancer and, yeah. confronting and doing the other treatments, so the next report I remember was one had completely gone and one was half the size that it had been. Well, all of this is in his cancer cure shows, which I'm going to show you. I'm going to show the page to our viewers now. Okay. Great. All this is in the cancer cure show. By the way, you get there just by typing cureshow.org. Here it is. The can. This is the cancer cure show, and where? Okay, we have a bunch of people in movies. We have. Cure shows with MDs here on that, on that side of the page. And then down here is what we call our featured shows. So here we are at Charles Cure Show. Um, I'll just see what I did is I just, it's really right near the top. You go, we go from Cancer Cure Show right down here to the featured shows. And Charles is the second one, and as our viewers can see, we have, uh, I guess, half a dozen shows or so with him here. Start with the very last one. See, this is Charlie who cured skin cancer, but up here is Charles number five. This is Charles Smith. That's what we're looking at. Yeah, we're, this is all his cure shows. Let's I said home. I want to suggest that people start with the last one, and the reason is, if you start with the first one you won't understand what he's going through at all. You just won't understand it. Uh, because when he started, he was in complete denial of cancer. Here's his first show, it's the num dash one. Um, he wouldn't even talk about the cancer. In his first show, for the first hour, he won't even talk about the cancer. Yeah, he and, was talking about his tinnitus. And you kept hinting to him, like, I remember how you were saying, well, let's test, what would you like, what's the most important thing for me to work on? And his testing was telling him to work on the tinnitus. And you know what? His testing... That's called interference. Yes, but you know, it also, it also might have been right, because he may have been comfortable enough working on right. his tinnitus to work up to the point where later he could just touch on the cancer, which is all he did in the first show. He just That's touched on it. That's a very good point. That's a very, very good point. I don't think we should gloss over it. Yes. People, when people are testing, they're going to go to the hub, and they're going to test for something that they want to cure, and they're going to get something that looks like it's completely unrelated <laughs> or irrelevant. I know. It could be just the thing that they need to get them to the right place. People don't understand how this works at all when they start doing it. They're doing it, but they don't understand it. And they need to be comfortable with doing something that they don't understand. Right. They have to get out of their mind. They, it's, this is not yeah. a head trip. That's right. It's not logical. It's not a head trip. It's, not, it's counterintuitive. It's not what you would think it would be. Now, it's funny that because I, I send out these email reminders, and one of them is to do your morning routine. You know, which consists of you know various immune actions and removals and things. And I realized one day that the main point of doing that is not even to do the specific things, but to do things where you're not coming from your head and the normal places that you start operating from as soon as you wake up, like you go into your mental body, you go into your physical body. What do I have to do today? You know, what are what are my chores? What's my list? You know, let me get my body moving. All these different things that people are in a rut of doing and. The morning routine really takes you out of it and into your higher abilities and intelligence so that you can operate from there, you know, as soon as you start off, which is a good place, a good way to start your day. So, so I think you saved Charles' life. That's what I was saying to you the other day. Well, we, we did. The Cure Team did. I started, you know, I was the one who brought him to the Cure Team, but, you know, we did it as a team. I think you saved his life because I don't think he ever would have done it without you. I think he would have done a cure show or two, and we never would have heard from him again. No, you're right. And Stacy said to me before I ever talked to him, she said, I think you're the only person who can help him. Because he was, you know, going into hospice. 
Well, he stuck with you and you stuck with him and I, you talked to him so many more times than I did. Unfortunately, we never recorded those. Right. What we have is six recordings of him with us on The Cure Show. So, of course, it sounds like we all saved his life together. We well, I don't remember what, I remember what our phone calls basically consisted of. Looking back, I can sum up what we did on those, all those phone calls. Okay, do it. Sum it up. I asked him questions. Okay. That's what I did. I asked him questions about every aspect of his life. You know, I, like I would see something, he would talk about something, and like it wouldn't make sense to me, and I would ask him, like I, I asked him, why did you leave your wife? <laughs> and he started to think, and he couldn't give me an answer, and then he started to look at what was going on with him, and he came up with all these things that he hadn't realized or noticed about himself, and he slowly but surely began to see that he made a bad choice. Yes. And he made that choice for all the wrong reasons. And when he started to kind of recommit to going back to his family, I believe that that's when he started getting well because it gave him something to live for. I do too. And I think his, actually, I think his priest helped him with that. I don't remember that. He, was, he was seeing a priest. He was, yeah, probably. Right. He was seeing a Catholic priest who stuck with him and kept talking to him about his relationship with his wife, like Did you he, were. Did the priest do that? Yeah, probably. Yep, like you were. And you, you, um, you had an ally. We never had the priest on the show, but you had, we should have. It's too bad we didn't. But you had an ally, but you might have been able to do it without the priest. I don't know, but anyway, you got the guy to confront. You got him to lay out his whole life. Right. It's just like what, you know what Ian says on the home page? Uh, Kathy's husband, Ian. Oh, you mean what he says about him? They, you know, he says the definition of immunix is you, you remove the thing and then you lay your whole life out and you cure your cancer <laughs> or something. Well, I that. I'm paraphrasing. I put a quote that Kathy sent me from him on the home page. I have to check it out. Ian is a master. He is a real bottom liner, you know? Right. He bottom lines things. So does Kathy. They're a bottom line family. <laughs> you know, it's something. Anyway, so, so Charles had cancer. He was a stage four terminal cancer, and he ended up with no cancer like around two or three months later. It took around a TV season to cure him. A TV season. That's yeah, true, right. isn't it, though? It was around, it was X number of weeks, you know? It was probably... No, several months, a few months. Yeah, yeah it was a few months. months, that's right. Definitely less than six months. Yeah, it was definitely... Well, see, but the whole thing, when he first discovered the cancer, when we first met him, when the cancer was getting worse, that was another six months. So we were hanging out with Charles a long time. I don't remember when the cancer was getting worse because when he was going into hospice, didn't he have two tumors wrapped around his heart? He, he had two tumors wrapped around his heart. So he, I, all I remember was once he began removing cancer and, yeah. confronting and doing the other treatments, so the next report I remember was one had completely gone, and one was half the size that it had been. Well, all of this is in his cancer cure shows, which I'm going to show you. I'm going to show the page to our viewers now.